Jack of all trades, master of none is oftentimes better than master of one. In college athletics, this saying couldn't be more true, especially for tailback Daniel Ham. The redshirt senior has made his mark on the football field as well as the track. Recruited as a triple jumper out of high school, he also showed promise in football as he earned a preferred walk-on spot at Virginia. I always wanted to play college football, like ever since I was a little kid, but you know, my mom, being from Southwest Virginia and my mom going to Virginia Tech, I grew up a Hokie fan, which is interesting because now it's a different story. So coming through high school, football wasn't really my main sport. By then I had grown into track, became one of the prominent triple jumpers in the, in the state. I won a state championship my so sophomore year and again my senior year. And by Coach Wilson coming and recruiting me, he called me my senior year, came to a, one of my high school football games, and he was like, I think you could play at UVA, you get football and track, great university for great academics. Me, my parents, we were all we were happy. Then Virginia Tech called, who had never really shown interest before, not even in track, not football, nothing. They kind of offered me the same deal to come down there and prefer a walk on, but it was, I had a different feeling about it. And it just, it didn't feel the same. So I felt like UVA was a place I needed to be. And you know, throughout my four years here, I know that that was the correct decision for me to make. Ham felt a camaraderie with the other backs at UVA, which helped him decide to focus on football but he hasn't forgotten his roots in track and field. Ham attributes his running style and his work ethic to what he learned on the track. He's also a frequent visitor to the weight room where he pushes himself every day to improve. I feel like it helped, it helped my body because even before like Coach Heiberger came and we started really focusing on speed dynamics with track, you know, it really helped with my running form, being able to get faster, especially once I got to college because in high school I was mainly focused on jumping. Like even here when I jumped, they, they made us go through running techniques as well. So that, that really helped with my speed, being my running form, being able to turn over and get downhill fast. I know I'm not the fastest guy on the field. I'm not the strongest, but I'm like somewhere in between. Having to fight for everything ever since like I've been a kid in my family with my brothers and sister, just always having to make up for my whatever I'm lacking, whatever I'm behind that, and just being able to push forward through any situation, whether it be on the field, off the field, you know, going up against a 300 pounder or a, a 150 pounder, I'm gonna give it everything I got, no matter what. I'm the youngest of four children in my family, so they were all bigger than me, so I had to fight for like really everything. They wouldn't really bully me, but they would pick on me a lot. I feel like I got stronger mentally there and physically. But then coming through high school, my high school put coaches pushed me a lot in the weight room to get big numbers. And then once I got here, I was a walk-on, so I was like, I always had that chip on my shoulder. I still got that chip on my shoulder. So just to prove that I can fit in, I belong. Ham has proven he belongs in Division I football as he recorded the most punt return yards by a Cavalier since Vic Hall in 2007, just a year ago. He trusts the coaches, especially running backs coach Mark Atawaya, to put him in the best position to contribute to the team's success. Those are why is probably the most passionate dude I've ever been around. Ever since he got here, he was he's been real with us ever since the, ever since the beginning. He he let us know what kind of roles we were gonna be in, who was gonna be doing what. Just let us know what we needed to do for this team. He pushed us harder than just about any other coach I've ever had. So like he's really been just a foundation for us as a running back step, a running back room, and for me personally, I know I can go to him for anything. He's gonna fight for me just like I'll fight for him on the field. Coach, that's why I expect me to step up and be more of a leader. You know, kind of like Albert was, Smoke was. Smoke wasn't really a vocal guy. And, you know, I, I tend to talk, especially more than anybody else in our room now. Just step up, be a leader. You know, bring the, bring the young guys along when we're on the sideline or if the defense is on the field. If there's like a lull in the action or whatever, he expects me to bring up the team and be that kind of like solid dude everybody can look to and be the backbone. While Ham is proving to be a leader on the football field, his work ethic has paid dividends in the classroom as well. He will walk the lawn in May and pursue a master's degree starting this summer. That's the first goal, get my academic straight, get that degree, you know, work on a master's degree next year, make mom proud. But obviously, too, as foot with football and track, come like one of the prominent players or athletes that people want to remember when, after I'm gone, I've left my legacy here on this program. Whether it be on the field, off the field, they, they know me because of what I've been able to contribute to this program, to the school, to this community, is being able to leave my mark on this place. And that's one of the things that I really try to take pride in. And I feel like I've accomplished a little bit of that, but I feel like this year is going to be a, a really big opportunity for me to do something special.